Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we take a quick look at one of my all-time favorite pistols. And this is the 6 hour P226 in single action only. The reason I decided to take a look at it today is because some questions came in from you, the viewers, as to which gun I was currently using as a home defense gun, as a nightstand gun. And that has changed since the last time we touched base on that question. Back then it was a Glock 41 and 45 ACP. Now, I love that gun, but what I wanted to have next to my, my bed for home defense, something that, God forbid, I had to defend my family, I wanted something that I knew it was one of the pistols, if not the pistol, that I shot the best. And outside of the Phoenix Redbacks for competition, that kind of pistol, this is the handgun that I shoot the best. Of the ones you've seen in my channel, I've, seen, I've reviewed a lot of very good pistols, very high-end pistols. I keep coming back to the SIG P226 in sing single action only. Now, the way you see it here, it has been safety checked already, but it never, you can never be too, too safe. But there it is. And since the mag is out, let's start to look at the mag. And one of the reasons why I love this gun as far as for home defense is that it comes with three metal mags, 15 round capacity from SIG, but you can get these SIG factory uh, mags also from 18 rounds, and you can put the plus two. So I got 20 rounds of nine millimeter, and that makes it very, very good as far as capacity. There you go. Then also, I have the Streamlight, the TLR1HL. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. So you got high capacity, you got your night light. Comes with of course, the SIG night sights that are very good. Being a single action only, you got ambi safeties. The light is cooperating. And you got this absolutely incredible single action only trigger. Put the mag out. And let's take a look at it. Now, on my gauge, this is kind of constantly pulling at three pounds and a couple of times it pulled at 2.8 so there you go and then it breaks and the reset is just absolutely insane that was it and then you're instantly at the wall there's no travel nothing there you go it's, it's spectacular fit and finish is superb as you can see all around. It comes with a G10 grips that are very grippy, very high undercut here with a nice beaver tail so I can get pretty high up on it, medium sized hands, but it fits me absolutely perfect. It's got the Legion logo on top. Great texture. The fit and finish is not equal to or similar to some high-end high 1911s that I have and you've seen in this channel. Whoa, they close up the white balance. White ser front serrations in the front, rear. Nice checkering in the front of the grip and aggressive in the rear. Talk to you about the panel. Anyway, nice texture in the mag release. I wanted to give you a quick look and just tell you that this, answer the questions that some viewers had, that this is my current home defense gun. And I think it's a fantastic setup. So I would like your comments. What do you think of the P226 Legion in single action only? And um, if you'd like to share, what is your home defense setup? Always curious to see those things, hear those things. So anyway, thank you very much for stopping by. Short video, and I look forward to your comments. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when the schedule permits on Wednesday mornings as well. If you would like to stop by Instagram, there you can see what's coming down the pipeline for the channel way before it hits YouTube. Once again, thank you for stopping by, and until the next time, God bless.